In this short video, what I'm going to do is show you how to change your browsers, whether Firefox, Chrome or Safari, depending which one or which one you use from Google. I'm assuming that you're using Google to an alternative search engine, one that is based around privacy called DuckDuckGo, which you can see here. Let's go and let's change Firefox to use DuckDuckGo instead. So what I'm going to do here in Firefox, and this is version 59, but previous versions should be quite similar as well, is we're going to open up the settings, go to preferences, then we'll click search, and we'll come down here to default search engine. Now what you'll see here is if you click that list, we've got a list of available search engines. We can click DuckDuckGo. And I'll also leave checked, provide search suggestions and show search suggestions suggestions in the address bar results. So it sort of keeps that functionality consistent. Now, if I type in online privacy, you can see that it uses DuckDuckGo instead. Now, if I were to switch to Safari, which I've already got open here, open up the settings panel and we'll go to the search panel. You can say I've already got it set. But by default, it has four options, those being Google, Yahoo, Bing, and DuckDuckGo. So I'll just leave it set to that. I already had it there. And now if I type in again, online, if I could spell. Privacy, seems I can't really spell today. You can see here that it works just like Firefox. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do is we're gonna switch back to Firefox and we're gonna show you how to add in the DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials add-on. Now what this is, is basically it takes it that bit further and adds in an extension to Firefox that shows you a whole series of extra information about the website, such as people, or sorry, sites that were tracking you, gives you a privacy grade based on a series of criteria and so forth. So you're in a much more empowered position to know about your online privacy tracking and so forth. So we'll type in DuckDuckGo Go Privacy Essentials. We'll see here that it's the first result. So we'll click on that. Then we'll click Add to Firefox. After a couple of seconds, thanks to a fast connection speed, it's ready to go. And it's, But it does say, because we're talking about privacy, it needs to access the data for all your websites, browser tabs, and browser activity during navigation. I'll cover that in a later video. Now that it's done, you can see here that the add-on is available. And of course it gives themselves an A grade. But what it does here is gives you a privacy grade. And if we click the right arrow here, you can see the four components which make that up, such as, is this an encrypted connection? Were there any trackers found? Were there any major tracker networks found? And good privacy practices. So let's find a site. Let's, let's just pick on the Guardian just for argument's sake. I like The Guardian. Read into that what you will. And here's the home page as at this moment in time. Now, if we click on it again, you'll see that it gave it a grade of a D, but upgraded it to a C. And then it further upgraded it to a B as I was saying that. Now let's look into that a little bit further and find out why. You can see here again, that we've got the four criteria. Encrypted connection was okay because by default, The Guardian serves its content over HTTPS. However, it blocked 32 trackers and then had two major tracker networks blocked and had unknown privacy practices. So let's go back and look into those in a little bit more detail. We'll look here at the number of trackers blocked and you can see here that it has blocked a series of tracking from Google, such as DoubleClick, Analytics and YouTube. It blocked Facebook, Nielsen, Comscore, Crux, AdSafe Media, and so on. Anywho, scrolling back to the top, we'll then move back to the main section, and then we'll look at unknown privacy practices. And you can see here that privacy practices indicate how much the personal information that you share with a website is protected. You can see that it's not sure, so given it's not sure, it can't give it a proper grade. And in essence, that is the DuckDuckGo privacy essentials. What it also allows you to do though, is to make a search query directly via DuckDuckGo from here. So we're gonna say something, something light and fluffy, and we'll say iOS 11.3, something innocuous. And you can see it takes you directly to the DuckDuckGo search engine where it has a series of search results. And in a nutshell, that is how to configure Firefox 
and Safari to use the DuckDuckGo search engine. If you want to find out more information about the search engine, why you should change its benefits and features, check out matthewsetter.com, the link that you can see there on the screen, forward slash so and so. And if you like this video, if you want more like this, please don't forget to subscribe and to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.